Hello yo, welcome to the channel. It's uh, it's Rad from Radko Tarot and in this whole video we're going to look into Libra Sun Moon and as well Rising and their week uh, December 28th up until January 3rd 2020 and uh, should you are interested in a personal uh, in a personal reading with me guys you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website in which you can see the full list of my services and as well their pricing and also keep in mind that the content for youtube and facebook they are different from one another so in facebook if you're not following me there uh, you can uh, have uh, a daily tarot readings astrology posts you can see me live also going for the major for the major transit so if you do like the content here on youtube you do not want to miss the facebook one as well and a link to my Facebook page you are also going to find into the description down below. So that being said, moving to Libra week, the first card we do have that is going to be judgment. And as you do enter into the week, something major is about to happen. Now judgment, it will be very unique for each single one of you. That is the event, that is the, 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 the circumstances, the, that is the solution, for example, that makes sense of everything that it is happening with that it is happening with you all around and it pretty much makes uh, how can i say all pieces pieces of the puzzle that you are so trying to fit together now to pretty much glue with to one another uh judgment referred by um a big person into the esoteric science it is that when the shaft really fall, when the when the shaft really falls into the hub and everything becomes a well-oiled machine so i cannot say individually what that could be you know that could be the great love that one is what, what one is waiting okay or that could be the resolution you so much hope for that is going to save your career whatever it is for each one of you uh, judgment represents the only solution that makes sense or the only way forward that makes sense for until now every way forward was with this, was accompanied with a certain compromise you had to do something you know but not exactly the way that you do wanted to do and it won't be, and it wouldn't produce the results that you would hope that you would hoping to produce that's why the judgment is referred as the wake up call in a sense of that you know these circumstances or event happens and you see that that's your cue you see that this this is what the thing that you have to act upon so major major thing is about to take place as you do enter into this uh, into this particular week very curious uh, just for my personal feedback here or rather like just for the feedback very curious to uh, to know what you are guys to experience as the week progress in the first couple of days maybe three three days uh three days as well <clears throat> so uh, that could be as well pregnancy you know that is going to glue your marriage or is going to make up your uh, girlfriend or boyfriend to start speaking for marriage and so on and so forth and uh, after that we do have the uh, ace of swords which points that this event is going to make you see the world in a very different light and and it's not going to be necessarily a bad one in fact it's going to be very sobering for you because with the ace of swords here what we do have is that under those new circumstances like i said everything starts to make sense and you are capable now to place a right diagnosis over your endeavors over your enterprises you will know <clears throat> Uh, you will be able to make a solid plan for the future based on uh, based on this event itself. Ace of Swords here points as well that you are going to grow into spiritual strength. And under spiritual strength, I mean that you are not going to be afraid to do stuff that you have been previously afraid to do. You are not going to be uh, reluctant to say things that previously you thought that they are going to, uh, for example, hurt the feelings of this person and that person. No, you are going to cling to the uh, to the truth, so to speak, having the accurate perception of the world around and of how the thing stands in general. You liberal are not gonna spare any truth nor actions toward your uh, toward your primary goal. So here with those two cards, we can observe a rather very big grow into confidence. Like I said, a spiritual strength and in generally perception 
to how to proceed forward and uh, in generally how to save your marriage, for example, if your marriage is deteriorating or how to expand your marriage, for example, if your marriage is going great. That's why <clears throat> I'm saying that this week is going to be unique for each single Libra, okay? You cannot kind of like compare one with the other, but <clears throat> it's... Uh, it, it, now something else comes to my mind, especially for those Libra that have lost faith in life in the sense of that they don't see reason to uh, to keep on moving forward. You know, for example, you went through a very major breakup and now you feel like your life was ripped off from you or you lost your great job and you feel that, you know, you are never going to be in such a good job. Well, when after this week happens, you are to see that it was for a reason, okay? And now your confidence, your spiritual strength to push through those predicaments is going to grow exponentially. And uh, from there, your life either all of a sudden or slowly, progressively is to become worth living again. I'm, I'm saying for those that have lost faith in life, but for the rest, it is just you are going to see the full picture and the overview much more clearly now. Everything, like I said, is going to make sense. And uh, from there, you will pretty much going to know what you will have to do. Forewarned being a forearmed. Uh, the next card that we do have it is an, an individual that shows up. That is the uh, Page of Pentacles. And that is a person who sides with you in regards to those new events, those new ways of a moving forward. Like I said, you may wobble in between a couple, maybe three ways, three options available. And now with the appearance of the judgment or, or, or under the energies of the judgment, a fourth one comes up that is the one that makes more sense. Once you do uh, take on this path or, or start doing based on that decision, whatever it is for you, we do have a person page of pentacles which uh, collaborates with you. They see in this new form of you a huge potential and they are entirely devoted to you and to your agenda. Now, in terms of love, though, this card has a little bit different interpretation here as a follow up. And that is when you do realize that, uh, you know, someone you knew for a very long time, you are having a good time together, you know, and in generally you are getting along very well. That is when you do realize that you can be more than just friends, you know, or more than just a co-workers and so on and so forth. Now, should you decide to give it a go, we are gonna probably see into the other cards or it will fall entirely up to your decision. But if that's the case, that is your cue, the realization, the true diagnosis that you can actually get in, getting along, you are very compatible, okay? And that person is trustworthy, you can, um, and you see their devotion to you and to your family, for example, that could be someone that uh, uh, plays along with your children and they have really good time. So you can see a pretty good mother in, in her eyes or a pretty good father in his eyes um, as a substitution should you be, for example, uh, divorced here. And uh, yeah, I mean, <clears throat> by seeing how devoted that person is to you and to your agenda, maybe you would want to increase the commitment into, uh, into the relationship that you do have. May that be uh, career-wise or may that be a relationship-wise. You need to know that the page, once the page grow emotions towards something, in this particular case to you or to your agenda or maybe to both, uh, it's very difficult to sway them away. However, there is a, a bit of a negative um, aspect to the page and that is that they are rather very slow. That doesn't mean that they are a retard though. Page, the page of pentacles, they want the things to rather be perfect and in that particular case, uh, they are very, they're perf uh, perfectionists and very seldom they kind of like initiate some kind of an action for, for them, the circumstances are never right. So that could be a thing that kind of like annoys you and aggravates you that you constantly have to um, push them to do something or you constantly have to, uh, in our, in our, uh, in my language here, native language, we do have uh, the, um, 
sentence fishing them to say something okay it is, it is like they have something in mind but they don't want to say it because they may think that that is going to hurt you so you have to pretty much fish for that thing to be said you sense that they are uh, something is bothering them but they are not saying it i hope that you do understand what i'm saying here and uh with that page you can really go for a long run for like i said they are not individuals that are giving up lightly uh, under the pressure of one argument or a one failure next card that we do have for you liberal that is going to be the two of wands and that is the realization that i just talked about of the potential that you both have okay because the two of wands pretty much stands as that you rec recognize that you do have a good achievements meaning the good relationship in between you and the page May that be a business or intimate, not intimate, but friendship type of relationship. It could be as well intimate. Say that uh, <clears throat> you have been with a person that something like a friends with benefits type of relationship or very, um, how do you say it in English? Uh, a relationship with lack of a commitment in it. And now you do realize that that's a good achievement, okay, with the two of wands. And you should expand on that achievement further, meaning to extend the, um, the relationship in between, the, in between you and uh, the page of pentacles. And the two of wands also speaks that you are going to become a bit more aggressive in regards to uh, making deeper commitment here, recognizing the inactivity of the page itself, waiting for the perfect moment or for the perfect circumstances to come about. So uh, you have to be, you have to tread carefully in that particular case because with the energy of the two of wands, the aggression may snowball. And under aggressive, I don't mean that you are going to be violent but in sense of uh, aggressive, like you would, you would demand some kind of a response from the page. And uh, that aggression could snowball and you may find yourself wanting everything right now in this very moment without realizing it, that you are doing that and at the end being left empty handed. So towards when you do kind of like start playing the game with the page, you do realize about the uh, deeper commitment, you do place that accurate diagnosis and you see that the page is, is responsive, I'm sorry, uh, to you, tread carefully with how much you are pressuring them in a sense of uh, provoking activity from their behalf because that is the only thing that could kill uh, you know, their enthusiasm, not their devotion, they're gonna be still devoted, but in that particular case, the page will, de will decide that it's not worth it to be initiated at that particular time because the page is, dr is driven by the sense of worth and trust. <clears throat> And, uh, and being under pressure is the only thing that can make them, uh, how can I say, uh, decide that it is not worth it here. For them, the thing needs to develop with ease, okay? Because they believe in the, uh, in the perfect circumstances. And if they experiencing, and if the page is experiencing pressure under the circumstances, then for them, it's not the perfect time. The, the devotion to be initiated. And the last card that we do have is the Five of Pentacles. So that is towards the end of the week for you. And I really hope that you do side with the page here because toward the end, towards the end of the week, you are gonna start experiencing a sense of uh, uncertainty, insecurity that may relate to uncertainty about your job, that may relate to uncertainty about as well a certain relationships you do have into your life. And uh, you will definitely need someone to support you at that point. Now, those sense of uncertainty and insecurity are provoked by appearance of many problems, <clears throat> which are a small problems, but they are everywhere. And uh, the sheer number of these uh, predicaments is what is going to overwhelm you. And for that reason, it will be best, like I said, at that point to have someone that can support you, not just only can support you, but can take off a little bit the weight of those, uh, of those predicaments. It's uh, like I said, it's very likely at that particular point towards the end of the week that you may feel a little bit uncertain about your job and your place at the job. And uh, should that be a business partnership we're talking here about the page, you will not going to be uncertain anymore because you will know that if you get yourself laid off, you will have someone to make business with. Okay, or uh, if it's about your relationship, the page is going to just reassure you that problems, exterior problems, 
are not enough or they are nothing for them and they are not gonna leave you alone into this um, say dark time uh, and as we are speaking about dark time here Libra with the energy of the two of wands guys in order to push forward and to uh, and to resolve your predicaments only thing you got to do is keep your goal in mind for with the two not the two of pentacles but the two of wands for with the two of wands uh, should you find yourself in a dark place only your goal can, can illuminate that place and uh, reveal the path forward so that being said libra this was your weekly general tarot reading an amazing partnership is what we do have here for you guys i hope that you are kind of like uh, are, are willing to explore it uh, the sense to do so is going to be very very strong at the start of the week and uh, with that being said we are to see each other next time until then bye